hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be showing you guys this update video on this beauty right here that I have been rocking like every day since I've gotten her not every day but I have been wearing this one a lot and I probably will buy this wig forever and ever and ever and ever and ever the ultra bundle Peruvian hair half wig I don't know like it's so many it's it doesn't have a name so it's like so many different words you you pick whichever one you choose to you know relate this wig to but this is a lovely 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 wig I love her she is so long and I have been wearing the shit out of her when I tell you I have been wearing this wig and I probably would just buy this in like other colors maybe not nothing too like you know colorful but I think because I think this kind of wig is really good in like a dark natural looking color so yes she has matted up a little bit um if y'all can see in the back she has matted up just a little bit yeah this is a synthetic wig just in case some people wasn't sure if this was a synthetic wig or not and um but for the most part she has pretty much kept her curl pattern I haven't really manipulated this wig a lot at all I haven't washed this one at all yet either and I don't use any products or anything this is pretty much right here this Dove style plus care is pretty much the only thing that I use on this wig and that is just pretty much to kind of like hold it in place and to keep it voluminous like like it is now when I tell you you when when I tell you your synthetic wigs can last a whole lot longer if you do like whenever you're not wearing them make sure they're make sure that they're like in a mannequin on a mannequin head or in like a bag or you know some place where it's not the fibers can't rub against something else because I know that I have a really bad habit of just throwing my wigs in a corner when I don't want to wear them or when I'm not wearing them and they don't last as long so I've noticed that since I've actually been putting this one on a mannequin head when I'm not wearing her she lasts way longer and it does like keep the natural curl pattern the curl pattern doesn't go all crazy and doesn't you know it doesn't do any kind of manipulation to the wig it's just sitting there in a safe place if you want to buy something and you're trying to like stay within your budget and you want it to last longer that is definitely a great way to keep everything maintaining long as far as shedding I haven't noticed any shedding I mean I guess because I don't really comb this wig I don't comb it I don't I don't put my hands in it or anything like unless I'm just trying to kind of like fluff it up more so than what I'm doing now but I don't notice any shedding maybe every now and then I'll see like a strand of hair you know which is normal but it's not like to where it's shed 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 I don't know why everybody is so obsessed with the shedding thing like you know hair is gonna shed but and it's gonna shed more if you're messing with it if you're if you're touching it and putting your hands through it and combing it and manipulating it in any kind of way it's definitely gonna shed and it's definitely gonna and it's definitely going to reduce the life of the overall wig so once again the wig is about it's a very long wig if y'all can see that it's like all the way down here it's I guess that's what 20 22 inches it's really long it's really really long and I think that's one of the things that I love about it it kind of gives me that exotic you know sultry sexy voluminous look you know like I'm not myself when I wear this wig I'm myself but I'm like a completely different woman you know like I feel illuberated or something I don't know is, is that even a word I don't know but anyway y'all this is a beautiful wig I love it the curl pattern the only thing the only thing that I would say about this wig is that um on this side <laughs> The curl pattern is a little bit more loose than this side. You see how it's more, the curls are a little bit more tighter on this side than it is on this side. And that's pretty much just because I did that. I pretty much was manipulating it too much. I was trying to like get it to match something one day. I don't know why I decided to do that. But I'm learning as I go. I'm learning every day more and more about this wig because y'all, I'm trying to save some coins. Save some coins. I'm trying to save a lot of money. So I cannot afford to be you know playing games with my hair so my hair is always on point I get a lot of compliments 
um, on this wig a lot of compliments a lot of people ask me how much I pay for this and what kind of hair this is and I gladly gladly tell them that this is synthetic hair it's not about the kind of hair it's basically how you make it work for you you have to make it work for you you can't just put it on your head and expect it to look you know gorgeous and off the chain you gotta like work with it and that's kind of something that I had to learn because I have spent so much money so much money trying to keep up with the Joneses with this all these different types of wigs and hair and it's like at some point you just really get tired of buying hair you get tired of spending money you get tired of like changing it up you kind of just want to get something that works and something that's affordable and something that looks good you know you want it to look good that's the overall purpose of you know hair and um yeah so i basically just wash my hair my natural hair and i braid the back of it back straight to the back and i leave a little bit out in the front and i take some flexi rollers like this and i just roll my hair in about three different sections and do that eventually i plan on getting one of those rolling one of those curling irons that are kind of it's like a wand, but it's I guess it's called a bubble wand, and it does the natural curl pattern. It gives you that curl pattern for you, because, baby, I don't have time for, for rollers sometimes. Sometimes you just want to be able to just get up, curl your hair, and go. And with this, I kind of just have to, if I don't put this in my head before I go to bed at night, I will not have the curl pattern that I need to wear this wig, so... If you don't see me wearing this wig, if you follow me on Snapchat, um, it's most, more than likely because I didn't curl my hair. My hair wasn't curled. So that's the only thing. I don't really have an issue with heat damage or anything like that because I do flat iron my hair a lot. But I do, I have noticed that um, in the front, my hair is a little bit more pressed, if that makes sense. Like it's more, it's pressed. I can't explain it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Most of y'all know what I'm talking about. Anybody who uses like heat, any kind of heating tool. But I just use a lot of oil. I put a lot of oil. I know this oil, this wild growth oil, is really popular. And it actually is really, really good. This is like my second time buying it. It's almost time for me to get another bottle. But this is really good for, um, it's not only good for growing your hair, but it's really good for... Uh, if you use a lot of heating, like like a lot of heating tools, because let's just be honest, you know, we just sometimes we just can't get away from using heating tools. I mean, that's just the reality. For the most part, you guys, I love this hair. I will probably buy like two more of these whenever I can, whenever it's time for me to get another one. But I love this hair, and this is probably something that's always going to be in my collection. I don't care how much money I have. I don't care how much money I make. I don't care if I become a millionaire. I feel like I will still buy this hair because it's quick, it's cool, it's simple, it's convenient. And for those of you who have any questions about like the heat in the summertime, I don't really, that's the only issue, but I don't really have a problem with heat because um, I don't really, I don't wear this to the gym because I do go to the gym and I don't wear this a lot outside when I know that it's really, really, really hot. But if I do wear it, it doesn't really bother me because I've gotten kind of used to it. So um, it's not too thick or heavy or anything like that. It's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight, very soft. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this hair, y'all. Go check this out. I will leave a link below. So I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. And until then, 